Thank God it's Friday, the final video of this week. Let's talk about climate control. You see, we go through life. Life's a train, life's a ride. We don't really drive it. We have to, we don't pick a choice on the weather outside necessarily all the time. Things happen outside, the sun comes out, the cold air comes, the wind blows. All types of different challenges can happen in our life. So we need to learn when we're driving for a longer period of time, we want to be comfortable in our car. So we have heating, we have air conditioning. We try to make it comfortable. We try to make it more than survivable. We try to make it, especially if we're in for the long ride. Well, God willing, we're in for a ride 90, 100 years. We want to be as comfortable as we could, even though the outside elements are not under our control. Things happen, situations happen, all types of different things can happen outside that will change the temperature. So we got to learn how to be able to, to do climate control in our car. So we got to be able to turn up the heat, we got to be able to, to, to turn up the air in order to make a both to be able to make it work. And that's really managing your emotions effectively. Knowing how to be able to make yourself feel good and make yourself feel happy and make yourself feel stable even when stuff's going on around you. It's really a skill of being able to in your mind to be able to create a space. It's referred to stillness or mindfulness. Now, I'm not putting them in the same category necessarily. Um, obviously, they're both different schools of thought. But the concept, the accomplishment, is to be able to create a cocoon around you where the temperature is okay no matter what. You're like an observer. You like watch it from outside and there's peace around you while all these big waves or these different temperatures go on outside. So there's like a cocoon around you, a safety net, that you're always somewhat comfortable, you always somewhat feel okay, no matter what big waves you need to weather in life, it's always comfortable around you. And that place, you gotta train yourself to be able to live in that place in order to utilize it when it's in a tough time. When things are calm and things are peaceful, it's not a big deal to be able to get yourself to be calm and relaxed. But when things are a little bit haywire, things are going on in your life, things are not going the way you want them to go, now you have to teach yourself, you have to learn how to be able to access it. But if you don't teach it to yourself in a calm time, you're not gonna be able to access it in a tough time. In order for you to have that skill, to be able to call on it, to be able to just be serene and calm. We all know people in our lives that we've seen that are just peaceful, they're calm. We know there are stuff going on in their life, but there's a certain sense of peace. We could train ourselves to be mindful. We could train ourselves to be still. The way I understand it, there's a sense of stillness deep inside of you that you could connect with. Your soul, your essence doesn't get phased by anything because it's spiritual, it's eternal. It doesn't get affected by the wind around you. But we get very, very caught up with stuff that, you know, the, the stuff outside us that we lose focus of that eternal sense of stillness that can't be ruined. That essence of you nobody can touch, nobody can affect, nobody can really have any real way to make that go away or to hurt that in a real way. That essence we could connect with and that's good and that's perfect and that's special and that's just you and you're comfortable in your skin in that place because that ultimately is perfect. It's the you that you need to learn to connect with. But in, spirit, in different religions and spiritual beliefs, there's different ways how to connect with that essence and, and connect with peace. And we're talking about now in a clinical way. I'm not preaching religion. In a clinical way, there's a way for you to be able to use skills of stillness and mindfulness and meditation to be able to access the ability to be able to be calm at will. And that's a skill we're going to talk about in some of these future videos. And what a good thing to talk about right before a weekend. Relax, enjoy your weekend, and I look forward to seeing you next week.